Architects made the work bearable. It made the days enjoyable rather than, you know, a difficult and monotonous. Um, it involved a certain amount of a minimal social contact in order to do this and meeting different kinds of people. So you, you felt like you were having a very, a fairly interesting life. You skip ahead to, to something like the 1999 murder of James, of, uh, James Byrd Jr., a 49-year-old black man in Jasper, Texas, who was um, you know, chained to the back of a truck by some, by some three young men who offered, had offered him a ride home and dragged until his body came apart down that Huff Creek Road. A few months later, I saw some interviews with the family of the men who'd done that. And it was fascinating because you realized that they were absolutely baffled by the results of this. They couldn't understand what their son had done. All he'd done is, you know, he'd killed a nigger. And as far as they were concerned, it was as though they had taken a dog and done the same thing with a dog. And, and the notion that this was a murder was just beyond them to understand. And they couldn't understand why his life was in danger of being executed for murder. It was just beyond them. But they were inhabiting the exact same discourse as the students at Columbia University back in 1920. If somebody had done this to a dog, it wouldn't have been very nice, but it's something that you, you know, maybe pay a $50 fine for. It's not something that you put somebody in jail for and threaten to take their life. 